Hello everyone. This is Jeanette Martin of Where in the World is JD Farms Today? Well, as the brand ambassador, I am not out in the grocery stores. I'm in my own home kitchen and I love JD Farms products, of course. And I thought for this Sunday, I would pop on and in my fabulous, courageous sweatshirt here, and my kind of messy hair. This is how I'm living at home, and this is how we're all living at home right now, being a little bit more casual, a little bit more comfortable, and wondering what we're going to do for supper. So I've set myself up, and hopefully you guys are hearing me okay. Um, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay, um, or a heart or something like that. I see some people have tuned on. And I want to show you tonight what I do is my one pan, I call it my single girl supper or TV dinner. So can someone give me like a, a thumbs up or something like that? Perfect. You can hear me okay? Excellent. Say hi from wherever you are. I know we've got almost 8,000 of you out there um, who follow JD Farms. Oh, thank you for the heart. Um, and let's get cooking. I've done kind of the tough part ahead of time, the prep. But I've got a bounty of vegetables that I'm going to cut up, put on a pan, have the JD Farms sun-dried tomato feta, um, feta sausages that are going to go on the pan. I've got, you know what, you probably all have maybe this Goblin Good uh, turkey rub. I'm going to use that as my seasoning. Um, I've got some pepper. I have my oven preheating at, hang on, I'll be right back. Um... Preheating at 375 degrees. I have a gas oven, just a regular gas oven. Um, all the veg are going in from fresh, and then the sausages are going to be nestled in um, frozen. And then they're going to cook for a while, about 30, 35 minutes. I'm going to give them a turn, and then I'm going to pop back on or set, uh, post a picture on what it looks like. So let's get going. I'm going to, hopefully you can see my cutting board. I'll go a little closer to the camera. Let me know if you can see. So I've got a big bounty of vegetables here. Um, all my favorites. And what's kind of cool when I do this supper is the vegetables are hard. Um, and you know, the frozen turkey sausages are hard as well. So, um, they're going to cook about the same time and I'm going to give them a stir kind of halfway through. So here we go. I've got a nice big half of um, a red onion and everything's going to get cut about the same size and that's because it'll all cook evenly. So here we go. Okay. Oh, and I'll just show you. I've prepped my pan. This is a standard sheet pan with a little bit of parchment paper. So that gets thrown on. This is a really easy supper, I got to tell you. And this is going to make enough for two meals for me. So I've peeled some organic carrots. And you know how a carrot is like bigger on one side, smaller on the other side? So I tend to kind of cut it like yay. And then the big part I'll cut in yay. So like the same kind of size as what the small part is. So let me get that done there. Hey, if you want to comment, put a comment, ask a question, I'll read. This is kind of my first time. It's kind of fun. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to do this often because I have a lot of JD Farms, um, the samples in my freezer, in my work freezer that I use for them. And um, I'm going to get creative with their products and using stuff from my pantry that's over there and my fridge over there. Okay, so I'm cutting them all up. There's the size of my thumb. So you can kind of see that they're all about that size onto my sheet pan. There they go. Sometimes the chef sneaks a little carrot. Okay, here's a really bad joke. Okay, you ready? What's invisible and smells like carrots? Are you ready? Bunny farts. Okay, so you see, bad joke. I'm not a comedian. So you can kind of see the size of this um, about relative, okay? Brussels pro. I'm gonna cut them in half and on the pan they go. So it's three carrots. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Brussels sprouts that size. You know what? Note to self, don't eat carrot while you're going on Facebook Live. On the pan they go. Everything is about the same size. On, on they go. 
Oh, a couple more. Okay. And I have some nice big portobellos or mini portobellos. I just cut those in half because remember, it's all about relative size. So everything is about the same size that goes onto the pan. I have three of those. Remember, I'm a single girl and I'm making supper for two, for two for me for tomorrow as well. Okay. I have one big, well, it's kind of smashed because I got the skin off, uh, red Russian garlic. I'm just going to cut rough chop it. I kind of like a roasted garlic flavor. So you kind of see the, the size of that there. Hopefully you can see. Ooh, I'm kind of in the shadows there. So you can kind of see. I'll figure this out. I don't understand. You're actually propped up in my window. And on my farm, um, out the front, I'm looking at the goats and the ducks right now. So I've got a parsnip. I love roasted parsnips. I'm cutting it in half, giving it a bit of a fun restaurant cut, which means... Just a little bit different texture from the carrots on the on an angle. But again, you see, if we're kind of to see, it's all about the same size. Okay. Cut the other piece up. Oh my gosh, guys, the colors on this pan is looking fantastic. So I've got a red pepper, just a small red pepper. Again, going to cut it up. About the same size, a little bit, well, a little bit bigger because remember, this has got um, less density, so it's going to cook a little quicker. So just cut that up. And we cut the other piece up, nice and easy, on the pan. And then I've got three potatoes, little organic potatoes. I've peeled them. Again, going to cut them up. And about the same size as those parsnips because in cooking you want to remember the density is how things are going to cook similar so on it goes by the way I love this knife this knife by Wusthof Trident it's got these little divots in it so things don't stick to it it's amazing it's the right set it's the right for my hand Shameless plug there. Um, oh, somebody's, oh, sorry about that beat coming through. So on that goes. Okay, on that goes. Hey, what's everybody doing this Sunday? Are you enjoying this Sunday? It's a beautiful day. I live out in South Langley by the U.S. border. And um, it's very quiet here on the farm. So that's great. So I'm just going to pick the camera up and I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see what my pan looks like. So far, you see it all looks really great. I'm just going to write that evenly spaced out. Okay, I'm going to come back to me for a second. Okay, back to me for a second. Because I'm going to get my JD Farms turkey frozen turkey sausages. So just from frozen, just from frozen, I've got a package of six here. I'm going to break them up. I'll show you in a second. I'm just nestling them in the vegetables. And what's really cool, guys, is in the nestling, when these thaw, the great flavors that are in them are going to also come out into these vegetables. So just kind of nestle them in there. Okay. I'll give you a show. Oh, we've got 16 people watching. People popping on. Pop it up. Oh, sorry, guys. So you kind of see, they're just nestled in there, kind of sitting on top. Turn the camera back around. I'll figure this out, I promise. When I do my demos in stores, it's really easy. I've got a frying pan, I'm making my, uh, uh, making the turkey burgers or the turkey breakfast sausages or the sausages, but this is my house, so it's a little bit more casual. So I've opened up my spices from JD Farm. Taking out just a standard tablespoon. Maybe about a level tablespoon. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top. Maybe a little more. I love this spice, you know? It's not just for turkey rubs. I've got my pepper mill. What's nice about their turkey rub, it's got lots of good stuff. There's your salts in there, I, there's some sugar in there, there's some secret JD Farms only family spices in there. I like lots of pepper. 
lots and lots of pepper. You put as much pepper as you want. And you also find that I'll season it on the way out as well. When it comes out, I'll give it another little season. Be right back. I'm heading over to my pantry to get my olive oil. I've got a really nice um, Meyer lemon uh, olive oil. And I'm going to take, oh, let's just say, oh, good tablespoon all over. And take my spoon. I'm not going to go dirty another spoon. Give everything just a little bit of a stir. Just a little bit of a stir. And remember, any of the juices that are going to come out of the turkey sausages are also going to go into my vegetables. So, I toy one more time. Oh, sorry guys, I was like really close. So there you go. This is what it's looking like right now. See the kind of quantity of the turkey, um, turkey rub spices on there. I'm going to come back to me. I'm going to put this in the oven. And um, hey, if you're around in about, oh, I'm going to say probably 35, 40 minutes, tune on back and I'll go Facebook Live and I'll show you how this looks like. So um, everybody, wherever possible, wherever you are, if you do need to go out, be very, very safe. Distance, distance. They're saying six feet. I personally like a 10 feet space. Um, be you just go out, get your essentials and get back. Maybe if only one of your family can go out and uh, get your essentials. JD Farms is open um, Monday through Friday now, nine to three. Um, and on the weekend, I think they did their hours a little bit shorter. So um, I think Sunday was 10 to 3. So check our website. Check the Facebook page that you're walking, uh, watching because they, they update it very well. I just wanted to pop on because I miss you guys uh, going out doing my demos in the stores. I miss you guys and being able to show you uh, what I do with these products at home. I tell you in the stores, now you get to see it in my own home. So stay tuned. Jeanette Martin, brand ambassador for JD Farms Specialty Turkey Products gourmet turkey products. I'm um, coming to you live from my own home. So stay tuned. Come back later.